I'd like to mulligan this pack, please. <sighs> I'm pretty sure it's Time Walk, to be honest with you guys. This pack has a Mox Emerald, Mox Ruby, Time Walk, and a Man Thank Vault. You. Oh, Brett, 32 months. Brett, you're almost at three years, man, which I feel like is short, to be honest. Imagine this pack at Thousand Year Storm. I don't think I've ever seen... I, I mean, I've probably seen three power like once, but it's extremely rare, as you can imagine. Oh, man, Cogbrook Librarian would be amazing. I'd be like, mm, I'll take two. I'm going to take Time Walk. Someone's getting two Moxes and a Mana Vault. <laughs> They're going to be like, wow, this pack either had a Soul Ring or a Lotus. And I'm like, nope, just a Time Walk, brah. <sighs> it's pretty good. I think I, th I think thieving skydiver seems great, especially if we play against any of those players who just took one of those three amazing artifacts. Muldrifter? I like a Muldrifter. Oh, Kiki Jiki though too. Is this early enough to take this Kiki Jiki and like Splinter Twin? Probably. Do you guys hear Michael B being a little bitch? I like a braid here. Flintstone Kavu is also pretty sweet, but a braid killing artifacts is also the only, there's no good blue cards in that pack anyway, so. I like Vendillion Click. Shieldbreaker's fine. High Tide would be fine if we were storming. Oh, what up, Jano? Good seeing you, buddy. You Brett, I'm glad you made it for that, buddy. It would be sad if you didn't. What's up, Wallace? Wally, don't tell your mom I'm giving you all this cheese, okay? I'm doing it because I love you. And it's just cheese. But you really shouldn't have this much cheese. You're the only one in here, too, so. Ooh, I do like a cursive portal here. Yeah, let's take that. Oh, Spiral of Canal? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, we're taking that. Tezzeret, Grimlov, Mancer, Flame Slash. None of those. None of those mean as much to me as fixing my mana when I have triple black, double blue spells. Triple red, double blue spells. Okay, Wally. I think that's all I can realistically give you before you explode. And I don't want you to explode because I love you, little bud. Jump, jump, for my love. Where's the next pack? Is that, is that a thing that exists, you think? Boom, boom, boom. I like Incinerate better than Electromancer in a deck like this. Electromancer is literally going like, to fix like Time Walk and a Braid. I don't know why, but Wally won't... <laughs> He's just really backed up. I don't know what's wrong with him. Like, I'll take him to work and look at him. No, don't do that, please. He's fine, I promise. Oh, God. Uh, this actually could be a Turnchill Gear Hulk deck. Maybe not today. And maybe not tomorrow. But someday. I always take Torrential Gear Hulk hoping he'll pay off. Right now we have a Braid and Incinerate. But if we can get like the the counter spells, I'm pretty pretty okay with that. <sighs> okay. Just made sure to get that Rylos stip in the queue. Well, 
Well, he's got a bunch of cheese in him, just so you know. Her big concern was making his farts smellier. Wally has some of the worst farts ever. It's un it's unbelievable. They're so bad that when he farts, he'll literally turn around and smell his own butt. None of these cards are exciting, unfortunately. Could take needle spires. I don't care. I don't, I don't think Magna's Magda's that good. I'll just take Ritual. What if the High Tide comes back and then we're just secretly... Secretly Storm? Oh, wow. Shieldbreaker is fantastic. I mean, just playing Shieldbreaker as like a... It's like an Ancient Grudge, but half of it is a creature instead of a second artifact rule. It's pretty good. This is this thing, like five two drops, three drop, four drop, five drop, six drop. If only Torrential Girl Hulk could hit sorceries as well. I mean, it is pretty good with Commit to Memory, but it's also good with Mystic, Mystic Confluence, which is what it replaced. So, you know. Thank you. Oh, Dimitri, welcome back. Dimitri's not even your real name, you faker. What a faker. Um, I like Golos here. I like Chartercourse, and I like Karn. This pack's not super impressive, unfortunately. And none of the cards I like, none of the cards in this pack actually go with Torrential Gear Hulk, so that's unfortunate. I think it's actually just Charter Course. I think we're keeping it low key here. Actually, Library seems great here. Wow, that's pretty cool. You like that we haven't seen Splinter Twin, Pestermite, or Deceiver Exarch? That's cool. Yeah, we're taking Library. Like, this seems like a fine Library deck. We can fill our hand, we can respond to things. L -l library resto might come back i mean i'm not super keen on splashing us a, a third color just for a resto unfortunately we do have needle spires which is nice so if it comes back i'll take it but i'm not going to take it over a library i think library is still pretty good Crack that whip. It's really nice outside. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 65. 65? God, that's perfect, dude. I'm going to take preordain. That seems real good. That seems good. Ulamog was in there in case we had like a sneak attack. That's not even the good Ulamog. You want to annihilate. You don't want the, you don't want the exile 20 library cards. You want to be annihilating. I don't want to adult today. You are welcome to not adult. Oh, you were asking Frannel though, so I don't. 
I apologize for, for responding. Correct that whip. When something comes along, who must whip? Oh, Consecrated Sphinx? And an Inferno Titan? And an Underground Sea. That's a late Underground Sea. I mean, I like Consecrated Sphinx more than Inferno Titan, so. And Inferno Titan's probably going to win games. I've watched your videos on YouTube for a while. That's the first time I came to watch you live on Twitch. Thanks for that. Mole Man, thank you for saying so, man. I also like that's like the third comment you left. You're like, Charter Course. Resto. Oh, by the way, I'll say hi. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much, dude. Really glad to hear that. I gotta start doing these steps in the queue. How often have you ever passed your beloved Sphinx? It's maybe once ever. Dimitri with the gifted sub, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Really appreciate it. Interesting. Phantasmal image or Shatter Skull? I think it's Shatter Skull smashing here. Can this go face two creatures and or planeswalkers? That answers that question. We're not an Emery deck. Image is pretty decent. Oh wow, Dimitri just gifted a uh, random sub and he just hoped it would hit he just hoped it would hit Mole Man. <laughs> it's not how that works, nerd. I'm gonna take Shatter Skull Smashing. It's a nice land. Thank you. Seagate Stormcaller with Time Walk and Preordain and Charter Course and a Braid. This actually, I, I'm not a huge Seagate Stormcaller fan in queue, but this actually seems like a great Seagate Stormcaller deck so far. Oh, Brett, of course, giving the Mole Man a gifted sub. Oh, dear. Brett, I appreciate you, buddy. Dimitri, I still appreciate you. Interesting. Goblin Welder, no. Light up the stage? I can see it. I like Elspeth Conqueror's Death a lot. Maybe we branch into a, into a white. We don't have great creatures to get back with it, though. We got Needle Spires. I think the upside on this is higher than a random light up the stage. I'm going to take Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Oh, Goldspan Dragon. That's exciting. Taking that guy. How are we killing them? Creatures. Burn spells. When something comes along, you must whip it. Now whip it. Into shape. Shape. Blood Crypt, huh? Council's Judgment actually goes quite well with the... Uh... Yeah, all right. I think we're branching into white here, guys. We got that Neil Spires. Seething Song? Oh, Thirst for Knowledge? Sure, I'll take a Thirst for Knowledge here. Bet. Yeah, Siege Gang's fine. In case we don't go white, we have another five drop we can use. Oh, what up, Shua Garner? It's a late turnabout. We'll take a Firebolt. See, again, like, uh, Torrential Gearhook just seems like trash. Like, we can hit Thirst 
and a braid and incinerate. Like, it's just not exciting. Sure, I'll take Emery in my single artifact deck. It's a late plow under. Okie dokie. Emrakul, Control Magic, Duretti. Flooded Strand does not get any of our non-basics yet. There's only 16 cards? Wow, it actually looks like more just looking at it. So we need like seven cards? I mean, if we're planning on playing the white, I think it's actually Flooded Strand. Uh, Gearhulk does not hit Time Walk now. It doesn't hit Sorceries. Yeah, I'm taking Flooded Strand. Tink? Oh, Jason Mind Sculptor? <laughs> oh, man. Pass Control Magic could get rewarded. That seems fantastic. I would love to take Tinker, but we are not a Tinker deck by any stretch of the imagination. Ponder and Young Peasy. This could be a very good Young Peasy deck. I hate passing a Ponder here, but not really sure we're going to do that. Um... I mean, again, we're like splashing for the white. I don't want to take a path here. Well, if Kinsa, if, if Gearhulk was instant or sorcery, then we could also hit Charter Course. We could also hit Preordain. So, like, there'd be a reason I, I, I mentioned those as well. We'll take Pyromancer here. That's a threat. Oh, Skull Clamp? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, it hits Thieving Skydiver, Young Pyromancer, the Tokens, Embreath, Shieldbreaker, Seagate, Stormcaller. It actually is pretty decent on a lot of our creatures. I'll take a Clamp. Koth of the Hammer, huh? Uh, the problem with Euro is that we have literally no green fixing whatsoever, and Euro isn't that good. Whereas we have Neil Spires and Flooded Strand already. And our red our white cards are actually very, very good. Um, it might just be Char, actually. Uh, I don't think we're ever going to Mize win with Oracle. Like, we're never going to have our deck that low. Like, unless we have a bunch of draw sevens, that's just not... Oh, Deceiver Exarch. I would love to take Boros Signet, but we have a Kiki Jiki, so can't do that. Now we did it. I mean, not only is Show and Tell a, a shitty card, it's just we have nothing to do with it in our deck. You're like, okay, I'll put a Goldspan Dragon into play. Euro is so bad. Why is he banned? Well, because he's significantly better in constructed formats where you can build your deck around filling your graveyard and casting it. In cube, he's just another guy that you're going to play for four mana and then they're going to combo you out with like a Blightsteel Colossus or something and you're going to have to jump block. Like, it's just a completely different... It's a completely different environment. Guys, we could mine the desire for, you know, like a million. Thank you. Oh, Ben, big card with the resub. I appreciate you, buddy. Welcome back, my dude. 25 months. It's like a million. It's like a million. I think we're just taking Brimaz here. I don't care about burning or mine's desire, and I think out of these two, I like Brimaz better. A lot of double white cards, though. Also, Goldspan Dragon does fix our white, but right now, it's not ideal. Banishing Light is is okay. I don't actually have a problem with Banishing Light, to be honest. I know some, some people don't like it very much, but I think it's just fine. Oh, Duretti came back. That's pretty cool. 
Is Smuggler's Copter good for us? We only have nine creatures. I don't think nine creatures is where you want to be. I do kind of like a Doretti Spaghetti here, though. Tinker comes back. It's like, we're not a Tinker deck. I don't even know why. It's, it's not even a question, really. Top is okay, but we don't have anything that really goes with top. And I just don't really like it that much, to be honest. I think I'd rather just have Abbott here. I mean, we passed. Hmm. This is 24 cards. We also have Library and Shatter Skull Smashing, so that's pretty deep. Wow, there is an Inkwell Leviathan. You were right. That's really weird. What well, the problem is we have nothing to sacrifice to it. Um, I might just take Stoneforge for Skull Clamp. Actually, we have a Doretti. We don't have any artifacts to sacrifice. I guess we can sacrifice a treasure. Yeah, I'll take Stoneforge. If a sword comes back, it's actually not bad if we have Skull Clamp and a sword. What up, Placid Laughter? Hmm. Wow, show and tell came back? That's kind of funny. We're running with the shadows of the night. Metal Worker. Mine's Desire last pick. Jeez. No respect. Well, no Splinter Twin, no Pester Might, but... Still might have a deck here, I guess. <laughs> it's unfortunate that our two white cards are double white. I'm going to take out Elspeth Conqueror's Death. Also, Flooded Strand has to get us a basic, unfortunately. Not the best deck we've seen, but there was a, quite a few decent cards that we had access to. Wonderful Christmas time. I hate you guys so much. I think I like all the cards in the deck. I might be tempted to play Siege Gang over Doretti. I think Siege Gang is probably better than Doretti in this deck. Okay, this is five, six, seven, eight. And this is five, six, seven. And this is two, three, four. It seems okay, I think. I mean, Council's Judgment's a little rough to cast, but... It's a very versatile card. And we have a lot of filtering and card drawing. So, you know, fingers crossed. I got a stomach bug. Oh, bummer. That's a bummer, Samuel.
This is uh, taking a while. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Yep, that's got to go. Okay. I like it. We'll ship a mountain. Our deck is not broken. It is actually incredibly fair. Fascinating. The interesting. Um, see, the question is, do we chart a course here? I don't think so. Like, there's no real point to it. I don't really want to lose a card. And now I feel silly. Sure. You got it. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Divide it as you choose. I'm going up to two targets. I need one more mana, don't I? To kill them both. The mood is right. And I'm a new my be in the tree. Yep, that seems worse. Maybe I should have just Shatter, Shatter Skull smashed for... <laughs> wow, this is really good, man. Congratulations on fucking mono discard. Keep it. Blue source gets us preordained in time walk. Yep, Inquisition me, Daddy. Oh, okay. We're gonna Midnight Reaper on turn one. That's fascinating. I don't know, Midnight Reaper is pretty weird. Sure. Blue source? Nice. Living the dream. Um, I want both of these. Sure, kill that dummy. 
Must be nice. Wow, duress, inquisition, and Valky. And collective brutality. Sweet dick. Hmm. Let's just play him as a man. <laughs> That's where they go like, oh, sword. Sure. No attack into my guy, really? Interesting. I mean they're stuck on three lands after they've Oh, okay, there you go. Never mind. It's always it's always one once I say it, that's when the um that's when the, the mana screw will redeem itself. Oh, good times. Well, that's cool. Island Deceiver Exarch. I mean, like, we're just going to hope that the seven cards in their hand. Yep, cool. Done. That was a fun match. I hope all of our matches are this this quick because when I when I absolutely get my fucking ass kicked, I really just kind of want to end my misery as soon as possible. So, Sure. <sighs> Good times. Yep. I mean, we need two more red sources to kiki them, unfortunately. Oh, one more red source to kiki them. And, you know, the red source that kiki has to survive and we have to actually play the... I can see clearly now. What do you got? One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. It's like four cards, too. I can feel it in my bones. Well, I'm definitely tapping down this primeval titan. Can we just draw Splinter Twin off the top? You don't even have that in your deck. That's true. Sure. 
sure. Jace would be good, yeah. We could bounce their Primeval Titan or, you know, search for the cards we need. Lotus Cobra, huh? Codus Lobra, huh? Right, I think we're killing this Nissa. I'm sure we're just... I'm sure they just have Crater Hoof in hand as the one of their last two cards. Well, unfortunately, we have to live another two turns. We have to live this turn, play Goldspan Dragon Attack, and the next turn. So... Yep, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... Oh, boy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. That was super cool. Do -do -do -do. Bring in Firebolt. Take out the Judgment again. These games are going quick. We're almost done with the draft. And, oh yeah, that's a good one. Sure. Surely. Let's put this planes back. Oh, man. Pass. We have a ton of two drops. I think I'm actually just going to wait until turn four to play Abbott. Oh, God. Give me a Firebolt, please. You know what? Char will do. That guy got to go. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. That rough fellow has got to go. Hey, we have a Braid and Embreath Shield Caller, so Mana Crypt might not be. What is this? One, two, three, four, five. I was just going to play Primeval Titan. Oh, Nissa. Damn, that's good, too. Why did you take three? You took three to deal one extra point? You could just have a one, two, three, four, five. Why? That's weird. Free land. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this guy dies next turn. 4-1. Oh, he did. <laughs> yeah, it seems fine. I mean, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 mana. That's good enough. Are you winning, son? Nah. In fact, it's pretty terrible. Yep, that's gonna be the end. All right. All right. Yeah, mountain. This deck is terrible. I'm gonna edit it. I'm gonna take out the council's judgment and bring in firebolt, and I'm gonna take out one more planes for one more mountain. This deck is not good. All right, let's try again. <laughs> Good times. Oh, wow, that apparently did pair us. Yeah, okay. That's unexciting, but I'm not going to go to six here. That would be silly. Thank you. Oh, David Nivar, thank you for the resub, buddy. A whole year. I subscribed a year ago, and then the world went to hell in a, ba in a bucket. Our sub baby is the devil. <laughs> Oh dear, our poor child. Not little sub. I, I didn't have a name for a sub baby, so now I feel like a terrible parent. Ooh, interesting. Well, I'm just going to wait to play that off of Seagate Stormcaller because that's just draw four, discard two. But it was not a good times. It was more like poopy times. Oh, it's the mirror match. Oh, oh, I like that. A good old mull drifter. Sabalba! Ugh, little Annie? Seagate Stormcopper. Draw two. Discard Island. Draw two. Discard Island again. So basically, drew four, discarded three, which is not bad. And now we have Stormcaller to, to oh, wow, they killed it before we could skull clamp it? Man, we put the fear in them. They have six cards. It's preordained. Um. Hmm. I'm going to put you on the bottom, put you on the top. What's the deal with Blade Runner? They don't have blades, and they're not running. Fascinating. They're just playing this to get back a lightning strike, but then not get back any sorcery. So 
bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. So we're discarding. We're playing Jace. We're also keeping this guy. Let's pitch Firebolt and Banishing Light. So you know they have Lightning Strike. Jace the Mind Sculptor. Better than all. Uh, Avalanche Rider? Uh, I am actually going to put that on the bottom because... I don't want you to kill my Shatter Skull. Or an island. And, you know, we'd have to waste an incinerate on it. Because they have Lightning Strike in hand. <laughs> yeah, they're just going to deal us six when they hit Chapter 3. Uh, sure. Oh, Mox Pearl. Now I'm tempted to up Jace again because we know they're gonna they have lightning strike and they can lightning strike Jace twice. Ooh, alright, now we're talking. But I also might want to just take the lightning strike. No, you can have that. That's actually pretty really sweet for us. Uh one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, we can just play Skull Clamp here. It still lets us play around like Mana Leak. Well, let's see what they got. It's going to be like Lightning Bolt, Lightning Strike, Burst Lightning. <laughs> lightning Bolt, Lightning Strike, Incinerate. <laughs> what is this? 6, 12, 18 damage? Come on, dude. Come on. So one, two, one, two, snap. Oh, wow, and they get to Metamorphose, too. I mean, we're just going to take the cheapest one, which is the Lightning Bolt, I guess. Jesus, that's wild, dude. Lightning Bolt gone. Man. I mean, they have eight mana. They can literally deal us 18 damage, I believe. Because they can do two, four, six, and then, then eight. Okay, well, that's better. So, Manamorphose is gone. Charter Course is one of the cards you hit. So, we know, okay, Grim Monolith. So, we still know these five. Eighteen is less than Thousand Year Storm is gone. Oh God, what is this? Frantic search. Okay, but like, mm, okay, that's good. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now they're now they're now they're killing us here. Wow, this is wild. That's a solid who do we appreciate reference. Okay. Two lands, which we didn't know about anyway. And now... Lotus Bloom in a land. Okay, so we know Lightning Bolt, Snapcaster, Incinerate. Mox Jet. I mean, I'm actually pretty impressed with what's happening right now. Okay, lightning strike. Got it. Incinerate. Got it.
Yep, there it is. Okie dokie. Why not kick that? Like, all right, have not won a game. It's not looking good. Plus, like, we have a really fragile Kiki Jiki Deceiver X R combo against a deck that's literal all burn spells. That seems good. We have nothing to combat that, so that's a bummer. Bringing that back in because it gets rid of the Marari Conjecture. I mean, what's our goal here? To, to go 1 2 again? You know what? Sure. They have two moxes, so. <sighs> Opponent is doing the Kerwood step. Mm, look, there's one of them. Oh, good. You're going to kill my needle spires. That's fine. I'll kill your stupid mox, you s stupid jerk. You fat kinkajou. <laughs> Which is his name. That's not a, that wasn't an insult of any kind. I was just referring to their name. Everywhere I go, you know. This guy. Psh, psh, psh. I mean, is Elspeth worth it? Yeah, definitely worth it. But it's just, again, it's a matter of, like, being able to cast it, which, I mean, we added an extra four or extra planes, so. Is it worth time walking here? Probably not. What if they go, you think they're going to go Thousand Year Storm here? And then we can Banishing Light it. They were like, nah, that ain't, that ain't me. I do like that. Chart that core, some beer, 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 beer. Nope, not that one. This one. Hmm. Just play Skull Clamp and pass. Gonna end of turn brainstorm us. Oh, what up, Odysseus? Good seeing you, buddy. For like 18 cards. One, two. I mean, they have five mana, so they can go like lightning strike, lightning bolt, brain freeze, which is actually pretty impressive. Oh boy, things are happening. Snapcaster. Uh, 
frantic search. That's good. This is very good. Wow, this is impressive. <laughs> okay, I don't care enough. Thank you guys for watching. Didn't win a game. That deck was terrible. I had no reservations about it whatsoever. I'll see you next time. Maybe we'll do a little better. Be sure to subscribe and follow. They help the channel. It's a good way to support things that you watch and consume. Thanks for watching.